Hey everybody, this is my review for the Fat Guy holster. Uh, I bought my first one a while ago for my Shield Plus, and I really like this holster a lot. It's, it's pretty simplistic, which is kind of what I like. Um, it has the adjustable height setting, which I, which is fantastic. You know, if you're a fat guy, you got a belly, and you need to adjust the height up or down uh, so that fits comfortably. Uh, I get them with the Alti clip. This Alti clip uh, attaches to the waistband, and it doesn't move. That thing is solid, solid as a rock. So it doesn't go anywhere. And again, you can adjust the height. So if you need it to fit under your belly, so it doesn't poke into you, uh, you can you have some slight height adjustment for it. The retention um, screw here works fantastic. You can adjust the retention to your liking. Um, it actually retains around the finger guard. You can see that it's molded around the guard, and it kind of snaps into place there. And that's what keeps it in place. The retention is fantastic. Uh, it's not going anywhere. It's pretty solid. So it's not going to, you know, if you walk by something and it gets snagged on something, it's going to be pretty difficult to, to remove it from the holster. Then I bought a second one for my BP9SK. And uh, same design with the Alta Clip. For this holster, though, I did notice that I have the re retention screw all the way, but the retention isn't so great. It comes out very, very easily. Obviously not ideal and not safe. And uh, I hung with it for a little while, and then I, I finally contacted the JX Tactical, and I explained my situation. I have the retention screw in all the way. It doesn't seem to be pinching as much around the finger guard to keep it retained. Um, that's kind of what I noticed, and they did send me an email back and said, well, you know, we haven't had any reported problems with this handgun before, but if you want to send us a holster, we'll, we'll take a look at it and uh, tell you what we think and, you know, take care of you. So I did appreciate that. Um, I decided not to take them up on the offer because this is my everyday carry, and, and I literally use it almost every single day, so I don't want to be without it. Uh, I did look at it and tried to figure out okay what uh, could be the problem here um why is it not staying in place you know is there anything i might be able to do to make it a little better on my own so i got to looking at how it it retains around the finger guard and if i'm like if i can just get it to squeeze together a little more i think uh, i think that'll do it and you can see that the slight, slight rub marks are right there in that place. So um, I kind of knew, okay, that's that's how these holsters work because I've never messed with holsters before. Um, and then I noticed, oh, there's a bunch of extra space around the frame. Uh, when I pinch it together, there seems to be a lot more room than compared to my Shield Plus. And so I kind of figured, well, you know, maybe if I can get that to squeeze together just a little bit more uh, along the the seam there, or along the fold, maybe I can get it so that it also squeezes together a little more around the finger guard, um, trigger guard where the retention happens. So I went out and bought a cheap heat gun uh, off Amazon. Link is in the description want to get one very cheap i figured uh maybe i'll use, be able to use this around the household anyhow so i picked up a heat gun um again i've never worked with holsters or kydex but i was like all right maybe if i heat it up a little bit and pinched it together just a little bit then i can get it to to retain it better as well so this is going to be my attempt at heating it very gently uh, to pinch it to get a little more. Now, I do know that this may void warranties. This may void their offer of uh, me sending it back and taking a look at it. And I, I'm okay with that risk. So you just kind of assess that on your end. If you have to mess with any of your equipment, uh, they may not like that. But this is just kind of a minor thing for me. So I'm heating it up here ever so slightly. 
and uh, I'm going to pinch it together just a little bit and hold it. It didn't take a whole lot of heating. Um, pretty thin plastic. And then I'm going to pinch it together, hold it, let it cool down, hope it retains the new shape and, and doesn't have some type of weird memory and, and have it spring back to the way it was. So once I've determined that it's, it's cool to the touch, after pinching it ever so slightly, I could tell that it had actually closed that gap. You can see that the uh, holster is now um, touching the actual frame as it slides in. And the retention is much better, much, much better, more solid like the, the other holster I have. Keep in mind that it is now on the sides, it is, uh, it is closer to the Shield Plus that I have. Um, but just keep in mind that it, it is now rubbing against the, uh, the frame there a little bit. Um, but this is an everyday carry and I'm training with it uh, on a consistent basis anyhow, like everybody else should be. So you're going to get some wear on your, your firearm anyhow, if, if you're constantly putting it and pulling it out. Um, but just keep that in mind too. Like if you like your guns in pristine condition, um, it is going to probably eventually wear at some point in other areas, but you can see the gap is gone now on the sides. The gaps are gone on the sides. So it did do its job. Much bet, much much better retention. So I'm I'm pretty happy with the the end results that I got. Um, I'll have to take it out to the range and use it and see carry it around and uh, see how it works out. But I think that that's going to fix it. Uh, so kind of easy, not a big deal. Other than that, uh, fantastic holsters. I really like them. I know there are a lot of options for holsters out there, tons and tons of holsters, and a lot of them use the Alti clip. Um, but a long time ago, I saw a video about this on YouTube, and I'm like, yeah, let me try that fat guy holster, um, see if that works for my frame. I'm not huge, but uh, sometimes it pokes to the, the end of the slide, pokes in my stomach, and I don't like that. So I wanted to adjust it a little bit lower based uh, compared to other holsters, and I love these. All right, any questions or comments, put them uh, in the comments section, and uh, thanks for watching.